Hey guys, FlickFi here, and welcome back to another career mode player review. And today we're going to be having a look at Martin Odegaard, a player that's been out for a while, but I've finally gotten around to reviewing him. This guy was requested quite a bit by you guys since he was released, so I'm glad I can bring this out for you. If you guys are enjoying these reviews and want to see them more often, let me know by leaving a like down below and dropping a comment of any players you want me to review. And with all that said, let's get into the review. At the start of career mode, Martin Odegaard is a 67 rated center attacking mid, only 15 years old. One of, if not the only 15 year old on FIFA 15 career mode. That was a lot of 15s. But he is showing great potentials right from the start and has an estimated value of 500,000. But when you send Real Madrid an inquiry, they're going to say 2.1 million at least in season 3. For some reason on my save, he was not available in season 1 or season 2. So. The 2.1 million is from Season 3, so he has developed a little bit since the start. And if we take a look at his player information, you can see he has the ability to play center attacking mid, right mid, or the center mid position. Left footed, high medium work rates, and 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Nice combo right there. And he does have the flare trait right from the start, and no specialties. And if we take a look at his attributes, you can see he's pretty stacked with physical attributes. 81 acceleration, 83 agility. 72 sprint speed and 78 balance for a 67 rated player is quite good. And then for the technical attributes, really his ball control and dribbling are the only good ones. But let's take a look at what he looks like when he is 30 years old. 15 years later, Odegaard reaches an overall rating of 80 and has an estimated value of 900,000. That's an increase of about 8.5 million. Has that special something status, which I was a bit surprised by considering he's only an 80 rated player. And if we take a look at his specialties, he does manage to pick up the dribbler specialty, which really does fit him pretty well considering he was a good dribbler right from the start. And now if we move on to the attributes, not much growth in the physical department, but that's okay because he's already pretty decent right from the start. But the technical attributes do get a bit of growth, 96 ball control, 92 dribbling, and then the passing gets a considerable amount of growth as well, plus 20 on the long passing and the short passing. And then he becomes fairly average on pretty much all his other attributes. But I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons here in the goals and highlights to follow. In a sense, Martin Odegaard was similar to Hashim Mastor because both took a bit of time for me to adjust to. In the two later games I played with Odegaard, I managed to pick up quite a few clips and he was pretty fun to use. So I would suggest that you guys give him a bit of time if you do decide to use him in his full potential. But getting into the pros, his first one that I'm gonna mention is his dribbling, and that's pretty clear because he does have 96 ball control and 92 dribbling. His second major pro is his skill moves. He does have four star skills, but to go along with that, they're just really smooth to execute. He does have 85 agility and 83 bounce, which does help out quite a bit with that. And his final pro that I will mention is his passing. He does have 86 short passing and 78 long passing, which is pretty important and crucial for a center attacking mid. Jumping into a few cons, his first major one is his strength. He does only have 45 strength, so he does get pushed off the ball pretty easily, but the way he plays kind of alleviates that a bit because you're just gonna end up dribbling around him anyway, so you're not trying to push through defenders necessarily. His shooting is also pretty atrocious, so I wouldn't recommend shooting outside the box with him. Definitely utilize his finesse shot inside the box, and I even threw in a couple clips that kind of highlight his poor shooting. His final con is his development, because he does take quite a bit of time to become the 80 rated player that he does become. It does take 15 years, so that is quite a commitment. But overall, I'm going to give Martin Odegaard an 8.0 rating and a value for price of 8.3, because he is relatively cheap. But he takes a long time to develop. But guys, I hope you did enjoy the review today. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and until the next review, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to y'all again soon. Jumping ahead several years, my store reaches an overall rating of 88 and a value of 34.5 million. Has that special something status, and he does manage to pick up a few specialties along the way, the dribbler and distance shooter specialties, which fit him.